Hello, my name is Tekena and I'm a Solutions Architect here at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automate patching of applications and nodes in a single AWS account or across your AWS organizations using AWS Systems Manager Quick Setup Patch Policy. First, let's talk about some of the key components for patch operations. AWS Systems Manager is the operations hub for your AWS applications and resources and a secure end-to-end -end management solution for hybrid and multi-cloud environments that enable secure operations at scale. You can use Patch Manager, which is a capability of AWS Systems Manager, to automate the process of patching managed nodes with both security updates and other types of updates. Patch Manager uses patch baselines to define patches that are approved for installation on your managed nodes. You can specify approved or rejected patches one by one, or you can create auto-approval rules to specify that certain types of updates, for example, critical updates, should be automatically approved. When a patching operation runs, Patch Manager compares the, patch, the patches currently applied to a managed node to those that should be applied according to the rules set up in the patch baseline. Quick Setup, which is another capability of AWS Systems Manager, helps you quickly configure frequently used AWS services and features with recommended best practices. Quick Setup simplifies setting up services, including Systems Manager, by automating common tasks or recommended tasks. Whether your organization has dozens, thousands, or even millions of Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 instances, you can use Quick Setup to configure multiple options for them all at once. With Quick Setup, you can create patch policies powered by Patch Manager. A patch policy defines the schedule and baselines to use when automatically patching your nodes and applications. Patch policies provide an extensive and centralized control over your patch operations and can be used with all operating systems supported by Patch Manager, including supported versions of Linux, macOS, and Windows Server. State Manager, which is another capability of AWS Systems Manager, is a secure and scalable configuration management service that automates the process of keeping your managed nodes and other AWS resources in a state that you define. A key feature of State Manager is State Manager Associations, which is a configuration you can assign to your AWS resources. The configuration defines the state that you want to maintain on your resources. By using pre-configured Systems Manager documents, in this case, AWS Run Patch Baseline document, State Manager can scan and or install missing patches on target instances according to the schedule that you specify. Now, let's bring this all together and see how Quick Setup with Patch Policy simplifies the organization-wide patching process. Quick Setup depends on AWS CloudFormation to deploy the resources. When you create a new patch policy using Quick Setup, CloudFormation creates a stack set in the home region of the management account. CloudFormation then creates stack resources in, in each target account and target region specified in the patch policy configuration. The stack instances create a state manager association for the defined patch scan and, if selected, an association for patch installation. These associations are then applied to be to the managed nodes according to the schedules created in the patch policy. Now let's move over to the demo section to see how easy it is to set this up. All right, so here we are on the AWS Systems Manager console. I'll go ahead and click Quick Setup. And then here I'll click Create. On this next page, simply go down to Patch Manager and click Create, which brings us to the Create Patch Policy page. 
um, here I'm going to specify a name and I'm going to choose scan and install you can also choose scan if you want to simply scan just for scanning here I want to do scan and install and then for the scan schedule you can choose the recommended default which is um, scans all nodes daily at 1 a.m. UTC or if you prefer you can choose a custom scan schedule I'm going to leave it for as default for this demo and then for the installation you can also choose the default which installs weekly once a week at 2 a.m. UTC on Sundays or you can select to choose a custom install so I can choose to reboot if required after patch installation but bear in mind that this can in, um, this will reboot the instances so you have to pass this through your change management process um, for now I'll leave that as unchecked and then in the patch baseline section I can use the recommended defaults or choose a custom patch baseline um, in this case I'm going to leave it as default but again you can simply click custom and then choose your default patch baseline um, or choose the baseline that you, you would like to use so for my Windows servers for example I can come here and choose a different patch baseline okay um, I'll leave it as default in my own case uh, the default patch baseline is on this next tab here um, the AWS default patch baseline for Windows for example so this um, the approval rules for the AWS default patch baseline is it installs critical updates and security updates um, patches that, that are classified as critical or important and these are auto approved after seven days of release okay so I come back here and I can also select an S3 bucket where the logs for the patch can be stored um, I'm just going to go to the so you can click on the browse S3 bucket um, I have one that I specified the org wide patching logs I choose that one and then for the targets here I have three options so I, I can choose my entire organization I can choose custom in which case I select the regions I want and the organizations and the OUs um, within my organization I want to configure this for or I can select only the current account okay um, for this demo I'm going to choose um, my entire organization okay so every OU and every account in my organization is going to um, get this deployed to them um, here you can provide the concurrency which is the number of percent or percentage of nodes to run the patch policy on at a time you can choose by percentage of nodes or you can choose by by the number of nodes and also there is the error threshold where you can provide the number or percentage of nodes to permit errors on before the patch policy fails again I'm going to leave it as a default which is 2% if 2% of the deployment fails then it fails for the instance profile options quick setup creates IAM policies and instance profiles with the permissions needed for the configuration that that I chose now this instance profile is attached only to instances that do not currently have instance profiles um, attached to them um, so but if you check this box it will attach the instance profile it will create to all managed nodes um, that's the difference between leaving it as is and checking this box I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is and that's pretty much it I'm just going to create it here So CloudFormation is going to go ahead and create the stack set in the home region and then it will create stack instances in each target account and in each 
target region as I have specified in my uh, in my configuration. In my own case, I have asked it to run this in my entire organization, so it will create this in all the accounts within all the OUs in my entire organization. All right, so I have fast forwarded the video to save time. And as you can see, the deployment is complete and I can view the configuration deployment status, the configuration association, association status and the resource compliance. Um, and if I scroll down, I can see all the accounts and the regions to which the patch policy has been deployed. So essentially with a few clicks, I was able to automate patching of all my nodes across my entire organization. Now it's your turn to try. Thank you for watching.